go, this is the depth. No, if, I'm in the, no. if I'm in the ocean, I'm no, going down. No, That's no. depth. No. We're not in the ocean. <laughs> Literally. Son. My name is Michelle. I'm going to start this off with a couple of things. Number one, in my What I Got for Christmas haul, I forgot to tell you guys that my mother in law, uh, Richard's mom, also got me a $25 gift card to Disney. Um, I have been on the Disney Shop Disney website ever since December 16th when we got the card, and I still can't make up my mind what I want. They're, they've got some really good clearances going on right now, um, and I mean, we can, I don't have to stick to that 25 we can afford for me to go over it a little bit, but uh, it's really a hard decision to make. So anyway, uh, I wanted to add that. Number two, I'm not sure what's going on in the apartment above us, but I think they've got a circus that has moved in. And they decide now is the time that they want to practice their acrobatics. So if you can hear the thumping and the jumping and the crazy noises, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about it. As much as Richard and I live alone, we do not live alone. Um, so I'm going to leave that at that. going to start this haul off. This is a Dollar Tree haul with Hubby's stuff I'm getting directed. Just so I can make space for the rest of your stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. He was just like, can you start here? Um, so I'm going to pick up, or pick up, I'm going to start off with what Hubby grabbed. I'm also going to end this video with the Christmas clearance stuff that I got. So hopefully I remember that as I'm going through this and don't just grab the clearance stuff. So he grabbed two rolls of this heavy duty. Um, duct tape or Ruben Adhesif. Um, oh, I forgot to hold on. This is, I believe, the tool bench. Yeah, the tool bench brand. And there is how many feet on here? I don't have my glasses on. Where's my glass? My glasses. I can't see without my glasses. I agree. If you guys don't know what that's from, even though I don't like the show, just sad. Seven yards. That's actually quite a bit. <clears throat> yeah, that's why I got the. And then he also grabbed the blue and red version of the duct tape. That's purple. Okay, it's purple. With the light behind it, it looks blue. Okay. Um, okay, so I guess it's, oh, there you can see it's purple. Even when I had it up there, it looked blue. All right, and there is 10 yards on each of these. You, you looked wrong. 48, 1.89 inches by seven yards. Look how thick that one is. Maybe, yeah. Maybe it's and then this is tape. 10 yards. Maybe it's just thicker tape. I think this tape must have a lot more adhesive on it. But anyway, he got the red and the purple in that. He also grabbed two packs of the electrical tape. Now, honey, you don't use this for electrical. You use these tapes for different things. What are you using them for? The electrical tape is going to go on some PVC pipe for sticks and wood for training with my sticks. Um, these the, are... The red and the purple are for... And, and the black. And the black, okay. For a project that I'm working on. Okay, so just so you know, we are renters. We do not need to do electrical work in our home. Okay, uh, he bought two of these little cookie... Not cookie, cake pans. That's for the same project as the duct tape. Okay. And... Oh, okay, I know what project you're talking about rocks. now. So, um, I should tell you guys, if you've never used Dollar Tree Bakeware, it actually holds up pretty good. We've got cookie sheets that we've used for well, it's not gonna hold up many, many years. <laughs> uh, but I'm just saying in general, yes. if you're using it for baking, my yes. husband, we're not talking about what he's using it for. But um, these hold up really nicely, and they're not, you know, they... The food that I've cooked on them or baked in them has cooked nicely and evenly. So, you know, if you're on a tight budget, if you're just starting out, Dollar Tree cookware is not a bad way to go. I'm just saying. 
it's not going to hold up for 20 years. Well, I don't know. The stuff we've had, we've had for like five now, and it's been, it's still fine, so. Oh, hold on a second. Here, hold, on. hold on. I'm being told to hold on a second before I move on. Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay. Here. So here's a, here's one of them that Hubby has been using for his, one of his projects. Well, now, I'm saying, no, this, that's actually a baking pan we used. Yeah, well, I was going to get to oh, that. Oh, okay. So he's using it now for one of his projects. Um, he's melting plastic in it. I don't know. You have to watch his channel to figure that out, okay? <laughs> um, but we, now, you can use oven cleaner on this and a Brillo pad to clean it up better. When he told me what he was getting ready to do with it, I'm like, just take the damn thing. I'm not going to clean it if you're going to do that. <laughs> but, I mean, with proper care, but even with that, the quality of the paint itself is still good. It just needs oven cleaner and Brillo used on it, okay? All right. Okay. okay. Um, and we've had that pan at least four years. Yes. At least four years. Um, <clears throat> he bought two things of rental drop. I also bought a thing of rental drop because if you watched the, well, no, that isn't up yet. The Christmas Day baking, I think, video. I can't remember. We were, we ran out of rental. It was, it's comical. Maybe making ovens for the kids. It's comical. When you yes. guys see what I went through with that stupid so this tin foil. Is for ovens for the kids. Yes. Um, and if you haven't seen that, my husband is a pro at making cardboard ovens. And I'll, I'm not exaggerating. I will do my best to link one of the videos down below of him making it and us using it. When we had our uh, man cave life and our van life going on, uh, the cardboard ovens were essential to our cooking. Um, and so I will gladly link those videos below. I know I have at least one subscriber that heard me say you lived in a man cave and she wanted more details. Excuse me, which you guys have should have... Can, baby, can you freshen that up, please? As you wish. Should have already seen um, that video before this goes up where I answer that question. But, um, you know, we, we roughed it for a little while. It wasn't horrible roughing it. It could have been a lot worse. Um, but, anyway, the cardboard ovens were... A major blessing to our man cave life. So and they work. Mhm. Mm we made cookies, meatloaf, brownies, burritos, pizza, pizza, tater tot casserole. Yeah. Uh, the list is endless. Like anything you can do in a anything you can do in an oven, we did in a cardboard oven. All right, moving on. I got to remember to link that down below for you guys. He bought some of the uh, four-hour emergency candles. I wish I had thought about it because this is the kind of stuff I would like to also start stocking up on just in general. I know he has a specific purpose for this. I have a general purpose for them. Um, we need to have... With cardboard, it's going to be an emergency, emergency candle thing. Oh, so this is a tuna can. And then he said, with cardboard, it's going to be an emergency what? An emergency candle. Which also, by the way, could be a very small warming pot for a small amount of water. Oh, oh you can use them as stoves. Yeah. Yes. But anyway, I, I definitely want us to start grabbing two or three of those a pop when we're at the DT. He also grabbed a wood frame with tin board. Uh, it's like a magnet board, basically. They had two. The other one was really torn up. I would like to purchase one myself. I'm not... He's been hunting for one for a while. I let him go ahead and get this one. I can wait. Mine is just for a decor piece, and I'm not even anywhere near ready for that decor to start coming together. But he has been on the hunt for this for, oh gosh, a few oh, months, oh. a long while. So they finally had one left in there. I, I made sure, you know, he got the good one because the other one was... got those letters. Yeah. Uh, he, it was all dinged up. He also grabbed two poster boards, um, just the white poster boards, and, hold on, see if I can do this without spilling my drink, two go. of the foam boards in the black. He has a dojo project with that one, right? Yes, the, the, those little... There's some, there's a game he plays with the kiddos, but... Now he's got so many kids in the class that he doesn't have enough pieces for the game, so he needs to add some pieces. Yes. Okay, so moving on, I believe everything else that we're going to haul is stuff that, quote-unquote, I purchased. Although, you know, he uses my stuff all the time. I do. 
So that needs to hide. I already talked about this. I told you I grabbed one too, so there it is. I'm telling you, when you see the video, you guys are going to be like, really, Michelle? Yeah, really, it truly happened. They had two of these. I only grabbed one. It's a shirt for B-Man. I'm going to keep it here as like an extra shirt for whatever reason. I really wish they would start carrying like little leggings or pants. You guys let me know if you have seen pants in your stores. I have not, and I haven't seen anybody talk about them or show them in the shop with me. But look at this little hanger. Is this not the cutest little thing? And so I can give you reference. I needed um, some hangers. With the gift that my cousin gave me of all those clothings, I do not have enough hangers for my shirts anymore. So I grabbed just a pack of the, I know these aren't the highest quality, but they'll work for a while. Ultimately, I would like to get the felt ones, but today was not the day for that. But look at the size comparison between this little itty bitty hanger and the great big one. I'm really surprised they didn't keep this. I, I know for a fact in the past they have. I will give this to Michael and Jalinda if they want it for uh, B-Man's Closet, but I went ahead and grabbed some hangers because I am, I am done with that. I am short on hangers for hanging up my clothes to dry. Uh, repeat buy. We buy these almost every month. Not quite. They did change the packaging just a little bit, so don't be fooled. It is still the you know, the little, Richard hates this kind, by the way. I love it. It's my favorite kind of paper towel where it's, you don't have to tear off a great big cubongous piece. But we go through, oh, I won't say two a month because I think the last time we bought it was in October that we bought paper towel. So we're not horrible about, you know, using tons of paper towel products. Um, I really didn't need, need this, but I really liked this. So I went ahead and got it. It's a cutting board. Um, it's BPA free, mm, dishwasher safe, hold on, wash before use, Curda. soft grip handle, mm. and yeah, that's all it says. You said this says it. That's not yet. Okay. I do, I'm doing that stuff last, remember, because oh, it's half price stuff. You okay? Yes. You look like you're not feeling the greatest. No, I'm fine. I'm, I'm thinking about maybe pizza and ice cream. That sounds so good. So anyway, um, just because it's nice to have a, a little bit of a better cutting board. The ones we use are the uh, silicone. They're like floppy flopsies, which is fine. They work great, but sometimes it's nice to have the heavier one. I got tired of waiting on the navy blue cubby thingies to come back in. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed these. It'll be fine. I just need to get the stuff put away. Our bedroom is chaos. I need it to not be chaos so um, I can get that stuff done and get it put away. Another repeat buy is my stomach medicine. We were at Walmart today and I totally forgot to uh, grab some of the good stuff while we were there. We were in the Dollar Tree. I'm like down to two tablets in the, the stuff that I have. And I, I don't like not having them because you just never know when your stomach's going to need them, especially me. I had a really bad acid reflux episode last night and had to uh, basically sit up for 20 minutes and sip on some water and I chowed down like four of these things trying to get it out of the back of my throat. It burned so bad. So anyway, <clears throat> I grabbed them because I could see them and they had them. Um, I also grabbed another one of the children's pain reliever. I love to have this on hand, but I also know that Michael and Jalinda... I've had to use a lot here lately. Becca was teething, so I wanted to grab an extra one for them. And I saw the expiration date in the store, but now I can't remember where I saw the expiration date. It was like August of 2024 or something like that, and now I can't find it. Fiddly sticks. What happened to it? Where did you go? Where did you... I don't remember. Anyway, I went ahead and just put this up there because we're going to give it to Michael and Jalinda tomorrow. That shirt's ours for our house as an extra for here. And then another repeat buy, if you guys are crafters and you do stuff with wood, this wood glue is phenomenal. It takes about 15 to 30 seconds for it to get what I call sticky, where it actually holds the pieces together. But once it firms up and stays there entire and sets up, it is really hard to pull those pieces apart. Trust me. It's kind of comical to watch me trying to do it. Also on the craft... Um, 
road or whatever you want to call it. I wanted some of the, is this called gingham, you guys? Uh, checked ribbon. I have some projects for next Christmas. Yep, I'm already planning next Christmas projects um, that I want to do. Those things right there, I'm not going to haul. Those things over there. Oh, I didn't I'm think not, you would. I'm but... not going to haul. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> because I can't ever find it at Christmas time, but I want it for, it needs to go hidden. Um, sorry, babe. Christmas stuff. Anyway, I want this for the crafts for Christmas time next year, and I can never find it at Christmas time when I want it. So I grabbed two. Hopefully that'll be enough. Hi, DK. Um, I'm out of my Head and Shoulders apple cider vinegar shampoo, and when I went to find it at Walmart, they didn't have it. So I think I'm gonna have to go craft. I think I'm gonna have to go to Meyer maybe and see if they've got it. I won't shop Target. Uh, personal reasons against Target, but um, I grabbed this as a get through until I can find it again. If I have to order it on Amazon, I will because I love the way it makes my hair feel. It doesn't make my scalp itchy, and I truly, truly believe that's what helps my hair grow as fast as it does. So anyway, I got the VO5 <clears throat> Kiwi Lime Squeeze. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. <clears throat> anyway, I got that one. Um, I also, hold on, hold on, honey. I also grabbed some, uh, Works Toilet Bowl Cleaner. I love this stuff. I think it smells good, and it works great. Alrighty. We're getting there, you guys. We're getting there. I also grabbed, because, oh, oops, I was going to do this with the other craft stuff, some more super glue. I don't use it a ton in my crafting, but sometimes it's nice just as a little bonus security hold it on tight type of thing. I also grabbed, I found, I decided to grab the uh, Color Your Own Ornament Hearts pieces. There's eight in each pack. I'm really not sure what I'm even going to do with them yet, but you know, it's, it's those things that if you don't get them when you see them, you won't be able to get them. They'll be gone. I did also grab these really cute, sorry the glare guys, I normally do this with natural lighting. Today is, there's like no natural lighting and at this point in the day it's anyway. almost 6 o'clock so there's no... I just put them in that tub. Oh, okay. Um, so anyway, I found these cute little stickers, I was gonna, there you go, now you can kind of see them better. Yeah, little conversation heart type thingies. Hubby and I both liked this. He said he likes the map sticker the best, so I don't know if I'm actually going to get to keep that one. I don't know if he'll want it for something. It's fine. If he does, he can have it. I also found these little patches, and now I think I might put these on B-Man's shirt that I just bought him, at least one of them. I think the little Saturn planet ring would be really cute on that green. And I found... Oh, I could do these, though, too. I found the... Did I call these magnets? Patches is you what they are. Patches. Did I say patches? Did. Okay, in my head I heard magnets. Yeah. I also got these little sea creature ones. Um, I think I, I'm sure that I'm going to find a use for them. <laughs> okay. My hubby has been having a hard time sleeping. So what did I buy him? Well, this one's mine. Ooh, those are still cold. Mm -hmm. Um, Anyway, those are repeat buys. We buy them often. All right, now to the Christmas stuff that I bought at Dollar Tree. I only bought a couple of items. Dollar Tree does have their Christmas on clearance half off. I bought this package. It's four gift boxes. I liked the shape. They're elongated. I don't know how tall they are. So it says 12 inches by 5 inches by 3 inches. So I'm thinking this is the 5 inches, so they're about 3 inches tall. Um, I'm not going to open them. Yeah. Well, they're, they're a foot tall. tall. No, they're a foot long. Depends on how you put them. Exactly. You had them up this way. Now they're tall. <laughs> anyway, this is, this is literally our conversation. <laughs> because he is such a right brain thinker, and I'm a left brain thinker. <laughs> it is hilarious. We are literally oh. Mars and Venus. That's if true. you have never read the book... Women are from, men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Read it. I am telling you, it clarifies so many things about how women and men think 
And it's so true. I read that book when we very first got together. It's an oldie but a goodie and it is 100% accurate. It is hilarious. Anyway, um, I'm not going to open it to see the other pictures on these boxes because we're just going to throw it back in the Christmas stuff and be done with Ashley. Yeah. And then the last two items from Dollar Tree. These were normally $5. I got them for $2.50. I am not leaving them this color. I almost... Cool though, I, like I know, I really like them. I almost bought them at the beginning of the holiday season. Um... But I knew I wouldn't have time to do what I wanted with them. And I wasn't sure that $5 was a good price point for them. $2.50, I'm all there for that. I can handle that. Um, I'm, they're going to be painted black. And uh, sneak, not a peek, but like a snippet of what I plan on doing in our living room this year is the wall that I'm looking at, which is the wall beside our TV, will be a very long shelf. Can I say long, or do I have to say tall? Well, if it's long, this way, that's long. But if you if you if I turn it, it up, it's tall. then it's tall. So, and I'm not quite sure how many inches. I I can't decide between forty eight. You know how many inches? You wish forty eight and sixty not inches even. long. Um, but I definitely want it to be <clears throat> about five inches wide. I want to be able to sit significant artwork on it. Um, and my artwork is going to go in a really different direction. My decor is going to go well, in a really go different again. direction. Wide is not, not the, the depth of it. It's still wide. Wide isn't the this depth. This is wide. No, that's the depth. It's wide. No, no. It's wide. That's it's the four width. Four inches. No, this is the length. No. Yes. Okay. This is. This, this is the length. The length. This, this is, is the, the width. No, no, that's the depth. No, this is the depth. No, if, I'm in, no. if I'm in the ocean and I'm no, going down, no, that's no. depth. No. We're not in the ocean. <laughs> Literally, every time. This is why we have to like thoroughly talk things out before he starts cutting anything. Because I cut it the way she tells me. If to cut not, it. we it gets messed up. But anyway, <laughs> I want it big enough ha, that I can Deep put enough. Sick, big enough that I can put significant artwork on it and not have these little chintzy shelves that I've been doing. It worked for the time, but now I feel like it's not working. I still like my gold dots. If y'all don't know about the gold dots, can you pick up and show the gold dots? Oh, oh there we go. See the gold dots? I love my gold dots. The gold dots at this point in time are going to stay. So that last wall that he just showed you, that's the wall that I'm going to do first. The wall that's behind me, I still don't know what I'm doing with. I see this wall all the time because of the way our living room is situated. So that's the wall I want to work on first. And I know he could care less what I do back here because he doesn't care. I, I could care less what you he, do with the whole place. I know. He really doesn't give a snip. So anyway, these are actually going to be not Christmas decor until Christmas time. In which case, I will put... A little wreath around their little necks maybe I don't know or green around their feet I don't know yet I just know I want them for my full-time decor so anyway I know it's turned into a really long haul I am sorry but I had a lot to talk about about all that stuff anyway um, thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe big hugs much love bye